Christmas a time that you think about your family and go down the shops and get them maybe a jumper, some hankies, some socks. But today I'm with wine expert Joe Wadsack, who's going to persuade me that the must-give present this year is actually a bottle of wine. But Joe, wine really, isn't that a bit of a cop out? You know, people say that to me every year, but then the next sentence is, well, by the way, what shall I buy my mum for Christmas? <laughs> you know, I, evidence shows that three quarters of people in this country are thinking about buying some wine for somebody at Christmas. I mean, parties, you've got to bring something. But also, uh, a third of people in this country actually quite like wine as a present. So if you're going to give wine as a present, what people obviously have fears of choosing wine. What would your advice be? What you should be doing is thinking about a wine that you like, that you're confident that you like, believe in your choice, and you're giving it to someone as an expression of who you are. It's a bit like writing a personal message in a card. I think it's a nice personal present. You shouldn't be buying a wine that you think somebody else is going to like. You shouldn't second guess who they are. You should be giving something you like. It's a nice present. That is nice. That gives it a more personal touch. So I can see where you're coming from there. Now, what have we got here? This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Um, it's a great variety. That Everyone knows that variety. Um, and uh, this is something I think in, in, in the Gallo lineup this year that's particularly good. And it would make an ideal kind of present. A Cabernet is a great variety which. Um, originated really in Bordeaux, or it didn't originate there, but that's where it became famous as a great variety for wine. And Bordeaux wines, you know, fine wines from Bordeaux, otherwise known as clarets, fetch an awful lot of money, some of them keep for 25 years, and it's this great variety that allows that to happen. Now, it's grown everywhere else. Now, um, California really started it, and here we've got a California one, and this is the Cabernet Sauvignon 2008 from Gallo Family Vineyards, okay. and it's genuinely, and I mean this folks, genuinely astonishing value for money. It is a six pound wine from California and this wine has the right weight. It's 13% alcohol. This is the most, the most surprising thing about this wine. When you smell and taste it. I was just smelling it now. It's, it's very berry-like, isn't it? It does. It has beautiful fruit. It doesn't smell jammy. It doesn't smell manufactured. It's got a lovely classic red wine smell. And it, your mouth isn't lathered with oak. It's lovely and soft oh. and fruity. It's got a nice dry finish. It's not filled with alcohol. Alcohol makes it too sweet and plump. I really expected that to really blow, almost blow my head off. You know when you get yeah, it in your nose? You can and almost I feel the alcohol. I think this wine's really, really good. And it's obviously a wine you can drink on your own in front of the fire. I can imagine mm. sitting in the boozer with a glass of red like this in winter after a long walk. Um, but it also goes brilliantly with all sorts of foods. Perfect. Uh, this is a perfect gift. Now the other minefield at Christmas is of course choosing the wines you're going to have with your Christmas dinner. Turkey isn't like chicken. Chicken goes with almost everything. For some reason Turkey doesn't. It has an earthiness and it has a minerally flavour. So we got 60 wines in from different wow. supermarkets and nice retailers. Tasted them all, then had the full nine yards Christmas lunch. Right? We had the bread sauce made from scratch, we had the little bacon around the kutcher plaza, we had the sage stuffing, we had the roasted, <laughs> and we did it all and we stuffed ourselves. Um, and we then tasted all the wines to see how that affected the okay. way that we saw it. And the wines that came out on top were a real surprise, particularly one of them, which I'll keep as a surprise until the end. But the first one uh, was Shiraz. Um, Oz Clark actually used to bang on about it, and he's absolutely right, that big, uh, the, the flavours of turkey, no matter how delicate they appear, need a big, juicy, soft, opulent wine. And what more than, what, what could be better than a New World Shiraz? So here we've got a Gallo Family Vineyard Shiraz. Now people might choose a wine that says it goes with chicken on the label because of the poultry connection. Turkey doesn't go anything like as well with most wines as chicken does. Taste the wine, because again, this is surprisingly light and, and elegant for mm. a New World Shiraz, right? It tastes almost like cranberries. Yes, and you think turkey, does. cranberry sauce, I mean, it's a no-brainer. That's why it works. Here's the real surprise. I'll put this down for a sec. Um, get me the other two glasses. Mm -hmm. We found, out of all 60 wines at this tasting, that the best wine of the lot was a Pinot Gris. Really? Which is the same variety as Pinot Grigio. Everyone knows what Pinot Grigio is. It's like the modern white wine of our age. Everyone drinks it in wine bars. That's but a night out with the girls, though, Pinot Grigio. Yeah, you I think so. I don't know so. if I can it, drink it, this with my no, dinner. No, 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 this will really surprise you. Gallo Family Vineyards Pinot Grigio actually is... It's been uh, only on the market for a couple of years, but it's appreciably better I think, than any of the other, you know, sort of like entry level Pinot Grigios. This is um, a delicious wine for the money. It's got a lovely, fresh, fragrant, bright, almost European cool climate smell to it. It always smells really melony to me. Yeah, it's, mel it's bang on. It's like ocean melon, like really dripping, juicy, ripe southern French melon. If you taste this, it's this okay. is the real surprise. There, there's a flavour, the grassy, ample but grassy, opulent but grassy flavour of New World Pinot Grigio has the same opulent but grassy taste of turkey. Turkey has the same sort of flavours. Okay. Have a taste. They're perfect together. Oh. And it's, it was a surprise. We just couldn't believe that the most ubiquitous wine in every wine bar in the country actually they is the final well. answer with turkey. So that's what I drink. Now, I think that that is what I'm going to be doing at Christmas. It goes better than red. I keep the red for the cheese course and the James Bond. Perfect. I mean, you've got lots of different people around at Christmas, so you need to have a choice of wines anyway. And they're very versatile as well. Lovely. Well, thanks for that, Joe. Cheers. Merry Christmas. To you too. Not the hat. Oh, thanks.